All right, I'm a simple man. I got myself some vodka and coke. God, uh, well, we can do a couple of quests, I guess. Uh, could go to the Krogan DMC, get that out of the way. Or we could just do the Citadel missions. I feel like they could probably be the easiest, and we don't. I don't think we need to revisit the Citadel again after that. Help Samara. That's Omega. That's another brainless mission where we just have to. You know what? Yeah, we'll, go, we'll do Samara because, like, at least with like Samara's mission, you don't even do need to do any combat. You just need to have conversations. So we'll do the this brain dead conversate conversation missions first. By the wait, what? Might be the right one. This bloody DLC, bloody map screen is completely broken and with this mod. Oh god. It's a uh, bit, that's Omega. Wait, you have a you have a costume? Oh, he has like the the uh, Chronicles of Riddick shit going on, doesn't he? Daily death count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Should be fine with this, right? Anybody here seen my shed? Man. Oh. <sighs> All right, Aria. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I'd start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. All right. S -s -s uh, tenements. Like yeah, it's a very simple mission, so we'll be doing this mission and then Fane's mission because uh, it's easy XP. Like you literally don't even need to. You just literally have to walk from point A to B. And do some conversations. No, it's basically combat. No combat whatsoever. Any time we can get skill points without actually working for them is uh, is good. So I think you get less XP for these missions. Hey, Diana. Are you here about my daughter? 
My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered, too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Aria's people? I'm looking into this on my own authority. No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and well, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Some <clears throat> her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so God, much. Look at that underbite. Okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. Oh, yes, I yes, yes. <laughs> Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. All right. Where's the underpants drawer? Okay, sculptures. Is that her sculpture? How's it supposed to be? Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years' salary for it. But I'd never part with it. You're dumb as fuck. I can upgrade to the Citadel. Oh, Ben, you okay there? Like, no. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I, I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Forta, hmm. Read the oldest entry. Hey, Diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. I don't know. Probably look. People are probably staring at her because she entered the VIP section without even washing her hair. Look at her. She looks. She looks, she looks grimy as hell. Read the middle entry. Cycle thirty-six, orbit six seven one. Kentucky Fried haircut. Uh, am I a freak? 
Mike. Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. <laughs> Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She my, can my God, you're greasy. She can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Yeah, I washed, like, actually stuck his head in the chip pan. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Morinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. <laughs> She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. You can't go to the IP club. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. 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 I always thought this was a closed uh, closed area. I didn't realize we actually had a area above. Uh, Weapon damage five percent. The council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Lots of fame. Merchant. The last time I was on Omega, I couldn't find work. You wouldn't think an assassin could go hungry in a place like this. Seems locals handle that kind of thing themselves, and those who can't aren't the kind of people you'd want to work with. Hmm. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. <laughs> so stupid. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. 
Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake, and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Pinch. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Hmm. Melm. I can go just walk up to Melm and punch Come him. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. Playing hard to get? Give Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Okay, can we do the silly dance? Where are we? Hey. Hey! I'm a good dancer. I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. We can only get a limited number of interactions. I think if we do, like, if we fail the, the speech check, we just do the silly arm wave one and she just walks away. I hate this place and everyone in it. No thanks. Every night I hate it all over again. What'll you have? Free drinks for everyone, on me. Are you sure? There's a lot of people here tonight. It won't be cheap. I said it. Let's make it happen. Hey, everyone! A round of drinks, courtesy of this lovely woman. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? Yeah, because I have to fucking... The little, the little shimmy. I know what I like. Do you? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? curious about a band called Expel 10. 
They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Just a car's family. Wow. <laughs> do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen bids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Veenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I'll have to watch it. Like I bring up a film that I don't even know anything about. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Yep, yep, that's right, Samara. Just stand out in the open. There's no no possible way that Laurent will just turn around. Gun assault rival. Hey, Revenant. I was into doing you for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. I was into dueling for a while. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. That yeah, Morant is a bit of a gimp. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Look into my eyes. And tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marinth! Ugh! Mother! Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Moranth! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. And we can kill Samara and get Morinth, but Morinth kind of sucks, and the mission on f in Mass Effect 3 doesn't involve Morinth, unfortunately, instead of Samara. In fact, Morinth pretty much becomes a banshee. Spoiler alert, banshee in Mass Effect 3. It's a complete waste of time, so we're going to kill Morinth. 
end of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Like, you just exploded her face. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Which, okay, I know that you know, probably a side effect of the ultra wide, but Morinth has just stood there in the background. Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? I can tea pause in. What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. All right, uh, yeah, we'll get 947. Yeah, I guess uh, having the ultra wide, you know, this little bit of extra screen space here, and the FOV poke, poking out, I guess that will break some cutscenes, have stuff, act, player models act like just on the outs, on the edge of the screen, but whatever. Original summary Samara has dealt with the Adak Yatshki, which remains loyal to Shepard personally. Loyalty of the Justicar beyond question, given the apparent bonds of Oath rendered to Shepard. Better than hoped. Cerberus activities will not be affected further by presence of Shepard's team. Relieved to have Justicar's mission completed. Unfortunately, the bother of the Addict actually could not be taken for study. Genetic abnormality could have been useful. Subject expertise would have made her a valuable team member if sociopathic tendencies were mitigated. And she gets Reeve, which is a pretty good power. And she gets a new outfit and yeah, all sorts of fun jazz. And we don't even go back to the Normandy. Fair folks, I guess. Samara. People come to places such as this seeking a better life. And when they get here, they find this. Vibrant people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive your mission, I may return here. Can we tell uh, what's her name, Diana, that her kid has been avenged? Nope, can't do shit. Oh well. And that's it, really. I think that's all we need to do. I think, I think we're finished with Omega now. Not too bad. Alright, fuck it. Go to the Citadel and do the uh, Fane mission now. Be nice and easy, I guess. Actually, I suppose we should, could talk to Samara as a mission close, because this episode is only half an hour long. It's a pretty short mission. We'll do the dialogues and get the research done. You might want to speak with Tally. She seems very worried about something. Uh oh. What's this area of the ship? Already on that, I guess. Right. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret. But I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, 
My feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. There's no way to correct the condition, Morinthad? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Grits. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore Why her further. ass looks in that Shall shop? I tell you looks what just is required? weird. Yeah, go for it. Show me what it would take. Okay, weapon upgrades. Okay, we definitely want to get assault rifle. We'll do that when we get downstairs. Uh, extended fuel cells. Oh yeah, she does. She gives us fuel cells. I guess that would. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Good enough, I guess. All right. See, I see. Commander, you might want to speak with Tally. I might want to. But I'll do it later. 